So last night, VH1 aired Love & Hip Hop Miami Season 2, Episode 3. The episode was titled Familiar Feuds. And it, it, it was a really interesting scene. It was actually the standout scene of the episode because your man Prince was in the studio with, oh Lord, what's that guy's name? I think his name is Chaotic. And also, Young Hollywood stopped by the studio, right? So your man, <laughs> your man Prince, Don came up with some new sh He has a song called Poppy Shampoo Dance or Poppy Shampoo. <laughs> he said the definition of Poppy Shampoo is a Dominican with good hair who plays with his hair a lot and has a lot of women. So I don't know if he came up with this or this is some like street slang, like maybe where he's from in Florida or so. I, I don't understand where that, somebody let me know in the comment section. Is that what goes on down there in Florida? Is that what y'all are doing down there? <laughs> Wearing them big, thick dreadlocks that look just like Harry Doodoo? Like Chaotic has those big, thick doodoo dreadlocks. And Gunplay has them too. He looks like he has a, a comet made of doodoo on top of his head. It, it, so that's what y'all doing. Wearing doodoo dreadlocks. Wearing dread doodoo locks. And making songs about using shampoo and getting hoes. Because your hair smells like herbal essence. But yeah, man, the scene made me laugh. But the thing that stuck out about the scene was the fact that your man Prince said a Dominican with good hair. Now, if you look at Prince's hair, Prince's hair is not that 4C chewed up peas in the back of the neck and, you know, uh, tranquilized naps on the top or anything like that. It's not that chewed up dog food hair that a lot of <clears throat> Certain people may have on the top of their head. Some people have a sizzling snatch of burnt popcorn nestled upon the top of their knobby noggin. And when they hear the term good hair, they get very upset. You know, I use that term a lot when I'm talking about beautiful women who have beautiful hair. And a lot of people get mad in the comment section. You know, a lot of Shaniquas get mad in my comment section. <clears throat> you know, and they're like, well, what's good hair? And then I have to let them know, like, if you have to ask what's good hair, you don't have it. Okay. But anyways, we all know what good hair is when we see it. And some people are in denial about it, you know, because <sighs> they can only wish to be able to put a comb through their hair. Some people's hair is so nasty that they can't even put a bullet through it. I mean, some people's hair is so bad. It's comb proof, fireproof, bulletproof, waterproof, bomb proof, and oven safe up to 400 degrees. And then y'all want to sit up there and ask stupid questions like, What's good here? <sighs> if you comb your hair and it sounds like you're making popcorn, you don't have good hair. If combing your hair is a task, if it's this daunting task and your hair isn't Rapunzel long, if your hair isn't at least down to the middle of your back and it's a struggle to comb it, and by the time you're done, you're frustrated, crying, and your arms hurt, you don't have good hair. Now, a lot of y'all are upset that I'm saying this, but let's just be real with ourselves. I mean, if you were a babysitter, right, and somebody dropped their kid over at your house, right, and they broke your coffee table, they left dirty handprints all over your refrigerator because you told them, you know, when they go outside to wash their hands before they go and get themselves something to drink and whatnot, and... They will leave your door open every time they go in and out. And they talk back to you and they're getting to arguments or fights with the kids that live near you. Would you say that that kid was well behaved? Would you say that that was a good kid? No, you would say bad, right? Why? Because it's uncooperative. It's getting in trouble. It's doing things in an incorrect way. Just like you're bad here. See, it needs to be spanked. No, really, your hair needs to be tranquilized. Because, no, 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 no. Your hair needs to be sacrificed at that point. Because there's nothing that you can do with it. It's just unruly. And you just look at it, you just shake your head. You just say, you know, you should never feel sorry for your comb. It, it, you know, it, it's ama it amazes me that people keep asking this same stupid question. What is good here? Good here is cooperative. Good here goes with the flow. Good here conforms. Good here knows its place. Dealing with good here is not a job. It's not dangerous to do. 
You know, you don't have to put crazy chemicals in it to make it act right. Chemicals that can kill you and make you sick. You shouldn't have to pray before you do your hair because you know it's going to hurt. You shouldn't be saying things like, Woo Chile. And oh Lord. And whew, God and Jesus. When you're doing your hair. Because if you got to do all of that, you do not have good hair. But anyway, because I know that there's going to be heifers. They're going to be extremely upset because he used the term good hair. And they're upset because they don't have good hair. They, listen, the only time a person who has good hair like myself would ever get upset by somebody using the term good hair is because somebody with bad hair basically, you know, <sighs> brainwashed me into feeling bad for them because they have bad hair. And now this heifers that will say, you know, well, 4C hair isn't bad hair, but obviously it is because it's always somebody with 4C hair who has something to say about people like me who have good hair. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about it all below. Me Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Me Magazine blog on Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. Let me know what you think about disgusting hair below and good hair like what I have and what Prince has. Share this video on social media with hosts, congregate, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, two cans with a string in the middle telepathically. That way everybody named Mama too knows that you have bad hair if you're upset right now. Okay, and if you're going to tell me that you're going to unsubscribe, just do it and just bounce. There's no reason to announce your departure. I don't really care. Because I'm still going to say whatever I have to say regardless anyway, because there's always some attention whore who's unattractive, who has bad hair, probably wearing a wig because she's ashamed of the crap on the top of her head. That has to say something really stupid. Some scab headed whore will come to me and be like, well, me, you know, uh, I'm upset and I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm going to unsubscribe because I'm upset at what you had to say and because I disagree with you. And it's like, why don't you just leave then? You know, when I disagree with other YouTubers, I just unsubscribe and then I just don't listen to them. Or if I do come back, I don't have I don't have anything to say because I already know what they're about. And yes, I use terms like bad here and good here here. And 4C here is definitely bad here. You're not having a bad hair day. You're having a bad hair life. I don't care what the per they could be black, white, male, female. If you have 4C hair, you have bad hair. Yes, it's true. And I know this because people with 4C hair are the ones that are getting upset when the term good hair is used. You know? Do I have to think that women who are morbidly obese have nice bodies? It, it you know, do I? <laughs> Sweet God. It's like, listen, if you don't fit the standard of beauty, then oh well. It's just not you. Get over it. Stop being so egotistical. Stop being so full of yourself. Yes, the majority don't think that you're Miss Beauty Queen or Mr. Mr. Handsome. So what? So what? There's more important things to worry about other than trying to be the most beautiful thing in the room. Some people are so full of themselves and so full of crap. Anyways, Me Magazine, a YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and MeWe. Me Magazine, blog, and Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. Shout out to all the people with good hair, like Prince and myself. And for all the people who don't have good hair, it's okay. You can always fix it. You can always cut it off or put some chemicals in it. It's perfectly fine, you know. You can do something with it. I mean, there has to be some sort of good use for it, like scaring people or something. Uh, because it's like nobody wants that stuff on the top of their head. If you don't believe me, <laughs> just ask, what's that heifer's name? It wasn't Sherry Shepard. Cheryl Underwood. Yes, the comedian Cheryl Underwood. Like she said, you know, you know, like when somebody saves their child's hair after a haircut, she was like, nobody wants that mess. What she was really talking about <laughs> was 4C here. <laughs> Let's just be real with ourselves. That's, that's what she was talking about, 4C here. All right, y'all. <laughs> Meat magazine. Don't hate the hair, hate the comb. <laughs>